Hey guys, how's it going? Andrew from White Trash FPV here, and today we got the Happy Model uh, Mobile 8. This isn't what you think if you read the title. Today we're turning it into something awesome. We're turning it into this. Um, this is just part one of this little mini series because partly because I'm waiting on the new motors for this bad boy. Um, if you're a fan of the Mobula, but you hate the frame because you've done stupid things like, I don't know, break one of these out. As you can see, I've done this here. And yes, I do have a second one. That's a little story for comment section. Um, as you can see, I have super glued it, but I do not trust this. And I know I'm going to break it again. Um, so I have decided to make this. This is the thing I am calling the... Um, the pe pet bula. I'm calling this the pet bula because this is a mix between the Mobula 8 and the frame from HGLRC, however you pronounce it. This is the Petro 120X. The problem I'm having with this thing is not the flight controller. The flight controller seems to be fit in there well. As you can see here, I have access to the USB port. Um, it is not the camera. The camera seems to be sitting in there quite well. Seems a little large. The camera hole seems a little large for it. However, I'm not arguing that. And it's not the antenna. However, I don't like that and I will be upgrading that as well. It is literally, let me pull it here, literally this. This is a great little motor. I like it. I'm going to continue to fly it on this Mobula. However, it doesn't fit. Now the specs for the say it does fit. It is a nine inch or nine millimeter diameter hole. However, I don't know if it's the motor mount or here or here. It does not fit. The problem I'm running into is now when I put the motor in the here, the motor hole here does not line up with the motor hole here or the the shaft hole there. It sits off crookedly, and on top of it, I can't get these screws are not long enough. So, with that being said, in about four or five days or so, I'll be ha you know. I'll be having the at the motors for this and the great thing about what I have done is the motors are going to be larger which means I can have larger props if these are what two and a half motors um, two and a half inch props I should say and these are going to be three so I'm going to have a half an inch larger props the great thing is I can also attach these motors or these excuse me these props to it if it say that's too much. Um, however, I think half an inch, if you guys see, is going to be perfect. It's not going to hopefully interfere with hitting the canopy or anything. Um, but yeah, that is this is what I'm calling the Petbula. The, the, Frankenstein, so to speak. Um, but yeah, the whole reason I wanted to do that is, yes, it's going to add weight, I believe. Gotta look this all up. So, where this front, so yes, it is going to add a little bit of extra weight, so my battery is going to have to compensate. Um, I'm totally looking at from this bad boy, which this frame alone is 7.7 .7 grams according to the website and this one is 11.3 i believe uh excuse me 14.5 so i'm adding twice the weight on top of with the motors i don't have a scale so i cannot confirm how much heavier this is going to be however i much rather lose props than i lose the motor mount again on top of this frame was already pretty cheap. It already feels, in comparison, way thicker, way stronger. 
than this, which will allow me to, every time I crash, because if you guys have seen my videos, I crash, and I crash a lot. I may, so, with that being said, most of y'all that probably are going to watch this aren't subscribed, and uh, if you like what I'm putting out, please do subscribe. Because I'm going to do more builds like this. Um, so for like days like today where the weather is currently 90 degrees and it's it's not even midday yet and it's hundred going to be 104. I personally don't want to go out and take this one on its maiden flight and have it overheat and shut off or God forbid the battery blow up. So... I'm going to continue doing small little builds. This is a nice little toothpick build. The one thing I don't like about this, and this is not the drone's fault, it's not my fault, these grip pads, I wish to God, I would just wish that companies would send something like the Omni Grip, where it's that stickiness. However, with this build, since the battery is on the bottom, I probably won't be doing something like that, um, just to keep it safe and, or, and keep it from getting dirty, I should say. Now, the one thing I did want to do, as you can see, is, you know, we got these two holes here. However, my problem is the USB port right is right here, so I wasn't able to do what I was initially thinking, which is take one of these small straps, wrap it through, and, you know, kind of, I, I don't have any batteries on me at the moment, but is I'll use, besides my 4S here, is, you know, toilet tank the battery. I'm not a fan of the battery being like this on there. All right, got to get this in view. So I wanted to toilet tank it instead of running it like this. So that way the battery didn't eject and just sit there and dangle. I've had that with with the mobile already. It <clears throat> that was a weird shadow to see. I didn't like it, and I, I felt like it was going to disconnect at any time. So with this, I wanted to do the tank, the tank toilet tank. But the problem I'm having is I want to have access to this USB port. And without having to take apart the drone just to get into the, U the, the USB for the flight controller. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I did think is I want to wrap it here. However, this is going to be primarily a 2S flyer because of the flight controller. Um, I did want to wrap it here. The problem I'm having also is with these. Once I do have the 2S attached, because I did have it attached earlier, and I did check, even with the pad. Well, let me do this right. With the pad. It was a lot like the battery gave me this much space. Now, if you see here, here's where the Velcro ends, and here's where that doesn't. Attaching it, because most of this is in the frame itself, underneath and here. That's not a lot of space space for this to actually grip here and it actually what I've noticed was it was still too loose so I opted just to just try to just adjust just to do the rubber bands that it comes with because it does seem to hold a little bit better not by much it is still pretty loosey-goosey and I'm still thinking of ways to fix that like maybe having to wrap you know, kind of wrap and twist as I go, you know, put the battery on, wrap, twist. Maybe that'll add extra grippiness, but I still don't like the way that is because I don't feel it makes enough contact. If you guys have suggestions of what I should do and you've made it this far in the video, Go ahead and just leave the comment. Leave me a comment what you think I should do. Because I'm always up to hear new things. So with that being said, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, 
do all the fancy jab and rigmarole, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys.